Good morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters. I'm down here this morning at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. And I thought in this week's video on Self-Reliance Outfitters, we would discuss the canteen set and the bottle set. I've been asked a lot of times which one of these two I prefer. I've been asked a lot of times what's the advantages and disadvantages of both. And so I thought I would kind of break them down with you today because they really both have advantages and disadvantages over the other depending on how you plan to use them and depending on your personal preference. So let's talk about this today and discuss some of the design intent behind these sets and talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages and how I mix and match these things to make them better personally for me. Stay with me, guys. All right, so let's first discuss the bottle and cup set. The bottle is a 32-ounce bottle to the rim. That means that if you're using chemical disinfectants for your water, there's no guesswork. If it's so many tablets or so many drops per U.S. quarter liter, fill it to the top, disinfect, ready to go. That simple. Stainless steel single wall so you can put it in the fire, no problem whatsoever. The threads on this bottle are the same threads as the MSR and clean canteen bottles. So if you have an MSR filter, that screws on the top of a bottle, you can use it. If you have a clean canteen lid that's got a D-ring on it or something that you prefer, you can use that, no problem. Our canteen has the same threads. So they're all threaded similarly so that you can interchange caps, filter systems, things like that if you want to. The other three pieces that come with this bottle set are a lid, a cup, and a stove. Now, one at a time. The cup is also heavy gauge stainless steel. It has measurement markers on the inside. It's a 26 ounce cup. It has heavy gauge bat wing handles on it so that you can grab it with gloves if you need to in the winter time. There's plenty of room in there to do that. And they're heavy gauge handles. So you don't have to worry about them burning up in the fire, getting bent, warping, things like that. None of that will happen with these handles because again, they're plenty heavy gauge. Along with that, you have a stove that nests underneath. And the stove is made for several things. It's made, number one, to be a biofuel stove. So you can actually put this in the coals, put your cup on top, and use it to heat your water or your bottle, as far as that goes. It also has a grill rack type surface on it so that you can actually cook on top of it if you choose to do so. And the height of this stove is perfect for the Pathfinder alcohol stove. It fits underneath here with the perfect headspace to allow cooking on top of this with an alcohol stove. So you have a multifunctional stove unit that goes with this. You have a lid that is solid with strain holes and a breather hole and a D-ring on top so that you can basically use this as a cook pot and you can actually strain liquid off of it if you need to for what you're cooking inside. Really, really great set, conducive to the backpacker, backpacking, those type things. Most of your backpacks are made with water bottle pockets, not pockets large enough for canteen sets, unless they've been modified like the Pathfinder Scout Pack to have those larger pockets to accept a canteen set. Most of the time, water bottle pockets are big enough for a water bottle and a cup, and that's about it. So that's an advantage of the water bottle set is going to fit most backpacks you may already own. Now, there are other things that we sell or that we have sold in the past that you can mix and match with some of this kit to make it an even more versatile kit for the trail. Number one is the alcohol stove that you can put underneath this, which acts as a screen and a top to give you stability for whatever you're cooking. And it has air holes here so that the stove can breathe and in the front as well. So adding the alcohol stove to this kit makes it more versatile. The other thing that I've done with mine is in the past we sold a kettle, a camp kettle. We've since discontinued that for redesign. But that camp kettle had two pieces in it, a screen and a lid. And that screen fits perfectly inside this cup and the lid, because it has an outer rim instead of an inner rim, once you put that screen inside, 
the lid fits over it perfect as well. Now you have a system that you can use as a steamer, as a coffee maker, for medicinal plants, for making infusions, and all those types of things that can be added to this kit if you already own that piece. Now, I'm trying to get some of these pieces in to be sold as a separate unit, basically just a basket and a lid that would be sold as an aftermarket piece for this kit if you chose to buy that. But without this set, it's still a very versatile kit. And again, designed really for backpacks and backpacking, but you could also use it for hunting as well. My Duluth lumbar pack and things like that, the Helicon lumbar pack, all of those are set up with water bottle pockets, not canteen pockets. So look at your system before you buy and see what you need to fit in that system and how it's going to fit with what you carry already before you purchase necessarily. The bottle and cup set and the canteen set are probably our number one and number two sellers of all times. I can't tell you how many thousands and thousands of these we sold. They continue to be our number one wholesale item as well and distributor level item. So it's definitely a good item. And again, it's all backed by a lifetime warranty. All right, let's talk canteen set for just a minute. The canteen set also comes with four pieces. It comes with a canteen. Again, the threads are the same as MSR and clean canteen. So if you want to mix and match there, it's easy to do. If you want to hook a filter to this up, that's an MSR, easy enough to do. This is designed after the military Vietnam style canteen set with a few modifications. Number one, you have a stainless steel canteen instead of plastic. Anybody who carries a plastic canteen and a metal water bottle cup, I have to question their sanity because if I have two containers I can put into the fire, then I can boil and dump, boil and dump. So I'm always gonna want that metal container with a metal cup, all right? Again, this is designed after the Vietnam style canteen. So it has the L bracket handle that locks in place on the back side for stability. Now, you may have to tweak these clamps a little bit where it locks in here with a pair of pliers to make sure that you have a good solid lock there because obviously tolerances aren't that perfect when things like this are made in factories. And you may have to tweak that a little bit so that you get a good solid lock there. Once you do that, it's never going to change after that. Now, the thing I like about this style canteen cup, and the reason I chose this style canteen cup, is exactly that. Stability, all right? You basically have a full surface area of contact here with a crutch or a leg, so that it's not going to tip over or fall over in a campfire. And I think that's where a canteen set really shines is campfire cooking. As opposed to a backpacker style set, this is more of a woodsman style set, something that you're going to use in the woods and you're going to use it in a campfire 90% of the time. It does come with a stove that we'll talk about in a minute and you can use the alcohol stove with it. But this is really designed for things like campfires. I'll tell you why. We've made one improvement to this canteen cup over time, and we have put two D-rings on here that flip up, just like the Swedish cook set has, so that you can run a stick inside here to give you reach to pull this in and out of a bed of coals. And then combined with a lid that also has strainer holes in it and a D-ring, you now have basically a cook pot that you can slide in and out of the fire. If you've got that handle, you've got a lot of reach. And you might say, well, just put on a glove. Yes, you can reach in here with a glove and grab a hold of that thing out of the fire. But why would you want to do that if you've got a handle on there and you can control things instead of having to put gloves on and off, just grab that wood handle, bring it out, stir it, put it back in. No need to put a glove on and off every time you want to handle your pots and things like that. So that's a big advantage to this when it comes to campfire cooking. Now, before we talk about improvements and going forward and add-ons and things like that, we've talked about the cup and the lid, we've talked about the canteen. Okay, so to the stove. The stove will also fit over the alcohol stove, gives you the same amount of head space that you have with the bottle and cup stove so that you can cook on top of this if you choose to do so. You can also use this as a bio stove. The difference in this and the Vietnam style is this grill rack on the top with standoffs 
for your pot or your cup. That's the same as the bottle set has, which gives you standoff from the cook surface so you get heat transfer underneath and has room to breathe. All right, now, a couple of inherent issues with this. All right, first of all, if you are using that with this setup and you don't have liquid in here, it's a little bit unstable. You can see that, right? If you have liquid in here or weight in here, then you obviously don't have to worry about that anymore. But if you put this cup on here with not much liquid in it, you can't have issues with this thing teetering around a little bit on you. And I don't like that. But I generally don't use this for cooking unless it's buried in a bed of coals and I've got something inside this cup already. Then I don't have to worry about that, of course. Okay? Now, let's talk about an improvement to this. For me, the improvement to this set is to have another cup or a second cup that has the batwing style handles on it from the later Vietnam era and after. Except these are really heavy gauge handles, much different than what's on a normal canteen cup, much heavier and much larger than a normal canteen cup so that you can actually get a gloved hand inside there or a big mitt like mine inside there to drink coffee out of this thing comfortably. Whereas with this thing, you're holding it out here to drink coffee, which is fine, There's nothing wrong with that. But again, what are we used to? Handles we can grab, pour that coffee down our gullet, we're ready to go. The other thing that does for you is it makes it less unstable on this platform if you're choosing to cook here instead of in the fire. To me, the best of both worlds is having this that I can use for a cook pot, this that I can heat my water in, and this that I can drink my coffee out of all at the same time. So what we're talking about doing is we're talking about coming out with this cup as a standalone item that you can purchase. A normal canteen cup for a U.S. military GI plastic canteen will not fit this canteen. It will not fit. You'll have to have this cup if you want bat wing handles, okay? That's just a product of the design. This is a little bit more beefy. It has a little bit more volume than a military canteen, although it will fit very easily into a Molly-style canteen cover. So if you've got the molly cover in your repertoire or any molly cover even if it's aftermarket this system will fit in here very easily and you can strap it right over the top and you're ready to rock and roll now the one thing with having two cups you can either carry two canteen carriers and two canteens but you can also take this set Put this underneath, unlock it, lock it underneath like this. Put this canteen here and this canteen cup over the top, just like this. Now you have one self-contained system that has two containers for cooking and one bottle. All right, so that kind of covers it as far as the ins and outs of both the canteen set and the bottle and cup set. Again, I've been asked lots and lots of times, what's my favorite? Neither one of them are truly my favorite as far as I would only carry that and not the other. It really depends on the setup that I'm carrying. Again, some of the setups that I carry will only accept a bottle. So in that case, I carry the bottle and cup set. For versatility around a campfire and in a camping scenario where I'm going to have a fire, I prefer this system now because of its versatility if I can get away with that. And that's the reason that some things like the Pathfinder Scout Pack were designed with larger pockets on them so that a full canteen set will swallow into that pocket and be secure. So everything that I do as I'm designing product and making things is I try to make sure that everything's going to work with something else, that everything is multifunctional, everything is very versatile, and you get the best product you can get with a lifetime guarantee when you make the purchase. Guys, listen, I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video in this series and on the Self-Reliance Outfitters channel as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.